inside of you know Team Sonic Racing, we have uh, the Team Adventure mode, which is going to have a you know a life story in, in there. You're going to kind of meet the characters in the uh, game, and in Team Adventure mode, you'll probably run into new characters. Ooh, nice. Um, so there's been a video. Like, the game was announced by June, right? I want to say. Uh, I want to say. Like, June 13th. We, we, we teased it. We teased at it. South by Southwest. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then I think That's we right. officially announced it like a couple of weeks before E3. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So there's been like a video out there um, that yeah. Mm -hmm. still, you know, that everyone has seen, but a cool thing we all thought and. Tremendous thanks to everyone at the end of the table and helping yes. us make this happen. We figured as a thank you for coming to hang out with us and listen to me blather about Sonic for a little while, we would show you a video from the game that no one else has seen. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. So last month at uh, E3, we revealed a trailer that kind of showed off Wisp Circuit, which is a racing uh, area on planet Wisp. Uh, but in this video that we prepared today, we have you know, just a little bit of a uh, new world that we'll be showing you. So keep your eyes peeled for that. You want me to play it now? I can just keep talking. <laughs> 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 so, when that showed up in our inboxes, David Marriott, who is the biggest Big the Cat fan, <laughs> I just say that because Aaron Weber isn't on this panel, so like there won't be a physical fight. So right now, if Aaron was here and not David, I'd say Aaron, who's the biggest Big the Cat fan, this is how I keep everyone happy, um, was beyond excited about that because it's just it's just big like it's just big racing around on, in a world that you haven't seen yet or on the track you haven't seen yet I should say um, we watched it several times in the yeah. office. Um, I watched it a few more times but I didn't tell you about. <laughs> Dude, I did. Did you catch the car he's driving in? <laughs> oh man! <laughs> uh, do we need to watch it roll? Yes. <laughs> I wonder if it's a frog that he's driving with. Froggy! <laughs> <laughs> and Q &A, that is about it. Again, I want to say thank you to all of you for coming. And we will now open up the floor to any questions folks may have. Do we have like, a mic stand? Are we lining people up? Or... Okay, cool. Do folks want to get in line? Uh, that's probably a little bit easier. Uh, you can get in line like right down the middle aisle. We will do our very best to get everyone's questions. Uh, this might turn into a lightning round. <laughs> when I do Sonic panels, we do Sonic panels, we try to leave a little bit more time. Okay. Because there are a lot of questions. <laughs> Hello. Excuse me. Hey. Excuse me. Ask. All right, I'm going to ask a question. All right, then. I'm going to go and ask you if will we be seeing more of Ray and Mighty? Oh, yeah, that's a good question. Because that would just be fantastic. Um, well, oh, yeah. 
Um, I have no idea what you're about to say. It's going to be really close. <laughs> so one of the things that we talked about was actually slipping Big the Cat in the background of one panel of every issue. <laughs> <laughs> Go big! But uh, clearly that didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> no, we <he's> completely serious. We <laughs> um, he said that, like, you and I were laughing, and he and I were like, what's going on? But yeah, no, uh, otherwise, we have done an amazing amount of, like, support from Sega, and there are very few things that got left on the for because people just maybe they let us do a lot. <laughs> That guy who I've never seen in my life has a question. <laughs> Have we mentioned, can we mention what Tank no. was? No. <laughs> um, oh. So when you were designing characters, um, David, David um, just mentioned David Hedgehog, and so she published for it. I think she published for it. Um, we, with so many design characters, you don't always stick, you barely stick with the first design. So. There were different designs on the character, like Tangle, until we settled on exactly what we wanted it to be. Um, without revealing too much. Yeah. There, uh, there were, Tangle went through a few changes before we signed. To not say too much, it, Whisper we always knew was a wolf. Tangle, we took a little bit of time figuring out what she was. Yeah. We'll leave it there. She was, we just didn't know what she was. Yeah, right. Yeah. What's up? Well, I've already packed my cool skill reference quota, so I'll have to come up with a question. He said one box to check off. It's dead. Anyway, for the comic writers and artists and whatever, what other second franchise would you give love to, like, give a own series? I'd pretty love to see a series of rage comics. Oh, that'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, or. Yeah, this is for you guys. Because we're all you see how I come to go that real fast? <laughs> uh, I'd go for, for Nights in the Dreams. You know how to be oh, That's what I do. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that'd be nice. I don't know how we would do it, but I would love to do a crazy taxi comic. Yeah! And thus you will be making crazy money there, man. Crazy yeah. So here we go. <laughs> I love that. I love the humor in that game. I'm pretty sure that's the name of the comic right? <laughs> you were at the WonderCon. I was. You were at the I saw that was the one. Oh my god. It's good. I found it. I was so mad at you. My question I just wanted to thank Kazuka Sawn, like, uh, Sonic Mania was so great. I was so excited the second you guys revealed it. I was at that party. I was so pumped for it. Um, the second pre-orders went up, I pre-ordered like the deluxe edition. I bought like 10 copies like each for all my friends. It was crazy. Um, <laughs> That's awesome. But no, I, I really love it and it's honestly my favorite game. So I just want to thank like you and everybody behind that. That was great and I had so much fun. So thank you. Yay! <laughs> Special stages are hard. Well, All right. Well, yeah. <laughs> 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 um, anyways, but uh, my question was: um, crazy taxi at any point during any of the modern Sonic games, had you guys uh, plan to actually add a Chow Garden into those? And um, like, Ooh. for what reason hmm. is it scrapped at all? So Yusu-san really uh, likes Chao. Obviously it was his uh, idea way back in the day uh, to put it in the game. Uh, and he 
he really wants to make sure, you know, the Chow Garden, we're not just like putting it into whatever game just to put it in, uh, but really to make sure we have a concept that's gonna be, that's gonna work for the Chow Garden. Uh, so we don't, we don't have any like uh, date that we can tell you right now, or title we can tell you right now that it's gonna be in. But, uh, you know, sometime in the future, we'd really like to, you know, put Chow Garden back into the game. Awesome, thank you guys so much. And uh, just one last thing, if you could tell Alex to please make like a Tails choking on the chili dog t-shirt, that'd be great. Because <laughs> 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 like even now, like the baby's just jostling and I get really nervous and I remember it's not real. It's just, all very true. Next question. My question's mainly on the second side, but the one cool thing about the IDW cons is that we're getting all these awesome characters with this really cool design. Um, my question for you guys, are you guys planning to introduce these characters into the games? Ooh, I'm so excited. <laughs> if IDW will let us, then yes. <laughs> I require 10%. <laughs> Next question. Hi, um, I just want to thank Inazuka-san for making such great games. Uh, my question was, uh, since it's been so long, would you be willing to revisit and make another Billy Hatcher game or Nights into Dreams game in the future? Billy Hatcher! It's been so long, many years. Yuzu-san really enjoyed those games, uh, and he really liked the nice character. Uh, he, you know, he personally wants to make a nice game again, uh, but he, though everything needs to kind of fall into place, and the timing needs to be right for uh, that opportunity to make it, uh, make itself present. And the Billy Hatcher game? Billy Hatcher. He didn't make the Billy Hatcher game. Oh. <laughs> oh. But maybe he could. You know. <laughs> <laughs> It should be a special okay, HD thank you version. Guys. Thank you. Um, just before the next question, I want to say really quickly, though it's not the games, I really want to thank Mike and his team for doing a lot of really cool stuff with some of our new comic stuff and some of our new characters. Uh, Evan is actually wearing and yes. the, the amazing Tangle shirt that we got mm. um, through the Sega shop. I have that. I have the. Uh, Cover shirt that you did right now. I love this. I have the cover shirt that you did. Hold on, let me take a photo of you. So you know, it's not, it's not quite the games yet, but uh, clearly Sega has made a lot of okay, really James. smart decisions to use the stuff that we're creating in their licensed products. Shop.sega.com. <laughs> <laughs> We gotta go rapid fire, we gotta go fast. That was right. not a pun. So, so, yeah. So, Mr. next question, please. Mr. Izuka, I'm very happy with the commercials that you've been doing for the Sonic Mania um, infomercials. They've been very charming and it brings me a little bit of joy in my life. My main question is, though, are you ever considering of doing any kind of crossovers similar to what um, R2 used to do with Sabrina and Sonic? Maybe like Transformers for Sonic or anything like that? I like to see Sonic like destroy the Central Con or something like that. Well, that's a good question. Mr. Osuka? Yeah, you said that right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll make this easily quick. <laughs> Uh, so he hadn't really thought of doing uh, like a crossover, especially for games, a crossover game uh, up until now. But you know, depending on kind of what that would do to the game and what kind of new ideas could be brought to the game and what Sonic would be doing and what the other being world kind of brings to uh, being the, you know, the, the game experience of this game, uh, that would be something to definitely the bear. Think Thank you. Find the way. Right, All right. All right My name's Jonathan. Basically, I'm very happy you got to put in uh, Bake the Cat. He's one of my favorite characters. So, since you got to bring back um, 
pretty much Ray and Mighty. Um, will we be able to see Ray and Mighty again in future like installments and games? And also, it would be great if you brought back Fang the Weasel, Bark the Polar Bear, and finally, um, if I remember correctly, that was uh, Bean, 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 Bean the Dynamite. That would be awesome. Would they be coming back? あの、まあ、彼らのクラシックシリーズのキャラクターなので、あの、モダンシリーズに登場する際の、この想定しないけども、まあ、今回、あの、マイリーとレイがスンクマニアクラスで復活したように、まあ、クラシックもこれからまた